Here we're using a double stack of two by fours beneath the unit to protect the fin while we turn the, the fin to the 90 degree orientation. Some flange windows will ship like this where it's integrated but folded down for shipping. Some will come with the 90 degree orientation. Some may even come completely separate, in which case you'd have to set it in a bead of silicone and tap it in place. Now we're able to lift the window into the unit and test fit it once. A carpenter on the inside gives us the ability to center it in the opening. That'll ensure that we'll have even thermal and air coverage on the inside. We'll also trace the nailing flange all the way around the two sides and the top, and that'll give us a positive location for our beta sealant when we set the window the final time. Now that we have this reference line in place, we can lay down a bead of the sealant that we use to seal the rough opening. We'll go both sides and the top. This bead is not necessarily required by every manufacturer, but it is a belt and suspenders approach. Now that we have the window tacked in place, we can check for level, plumb, and square. If we discover anything is off at this time, now would be the right time to make any final adjustments before fastening the window. Now that we've verified the unit's placement and we're happy, we can go ahead and fill every fastener location in this particular window, but that might not be the case for your window, so you need to check the manufacturer specs. The final step in fastening the window will be the bottom flange, but because we're using this fluid applied membrane, we're also going to add a synthetic horseshoe shim, which will keep this bottom flange from bonding by accident to the tackiness of our fluid applied membrane. As you can see, we're also using a modified truss head screw. Our other option would be a galvanized roofing nail. Now that we're fully fastened, we can finalize our flashing with our sides and our jam.